Hey everyone, and welcome in this episode where we are going to code in Minecraft. This is part of video series about programming. The link for previous episode is in the description. Last video is super important this time because we will improve and expand our code for the Spleef game. I'm David and I will show you how to use variables and improve your code. Understanding of variables is one of the most important knowledge of programming. So let's try explain the concept. Simply said, variables are the data storage in allocated memory. Computers usually use commands in your code to manipulate and organize data. Data means numbers or text. There is quite few data types, but the basic are integer, float and car. Every single variable needs name and data type. The name should reflect the purpose of stored data and the data type needs to define what I will store. And here's the example. Uh, this white square represents uh, the allocated memory in the computer. And I've allocated the memory by giving the square name called floor and this is my name for variable the memory is empty at the moment so if I want to get some number I need to set the number into my variable so as you can see I've got number 10 saved in my variable floor and the last thing is if I want to use the number 10 in my variable I need to just call the name so I will call floor and the floor will be replaced by the number. Here is an example for our spleef game. Last time, when we built the spleef game or arena, we hard coded the numbers of floors into the code. But much better way would be if the user can define how many floors will be built. The easy way how to do that is to add a parameter to our on chat command S4. You need just click on the plus sign and there will be new parameter called num1. We can rename the parameter to something more meaningful. Uh, let's say we call it um, floor, but I don't want to have it capitals uh, because variables should be named uh, lowercase. So floor and okay and now I have my parameter called floor if I go here to the red part of my command library I will find that there is new variable called floor because make code create automatically new variable whenever you put parameter into your on chat command and I can grab this out and use it in my code. So first step is to identify where I have uh, my floor built and it's here built snow floors and repeat four times. So I will replace the four with the floor and now it will repeat floor times. So it means that whenever I will type into chat s4 space and a number the number will be transferred to the loop here and will be floor will be replaced by the number in the parameter and in minecraft world we can open chat and type my new chat command s4 space and it will follow by the number of floors so let's start with 10 and enter so it will build my new tower for spleef arena and it has 10 floors and this is not uh, just finished with the improvements. We can even add more functions uh, or uh, additional content with the variables. So let's have a look what we can improve next. Before we add new functionality into our spleef code, I would like to introduce new section in our library. And it's the purple one called math. 
uh, there's a bunch of uh, math operators and functions and one of them is called pick random you can stop the video and think <gasps> what this block does yes you are right it generates random number between the defined range so let's say from 0 to 10 uh, I will make very simple example player on your command and a player say so it should print out uh, whatever I put into there uh, in the command in the chat so I'll click this in and I will change the uh, range from let's say 5 to 35 and I will show you how it runs and it generates a random number so I will play and I do chat and then type jump and we have 10 next one jump and we have 32 and last one jump and we have another 32 so I just make sure that it's different five so as you can see it's generating random numbers and this block is very handy if you want to uh, make your games or your program less predictable and more fun for players as you can see we have our spleef arena but with different size of uh, the floors. So your challenge <gasps> now will be to try make and adjust the uh, code for Speed Arena. So it will generate different size for each floor. You will need use the block pick random and you will need to define your new variable. Let's call it size. And I will show you the solution in a minute, but now it's your turn. Five minutes later. This is my solution, and I believe you made something similar. Uh, so let me comment on it um, a little bit so you understand uh, what's going on and you can eventually uh, make it happen by yourself. So, uh, first of all, yeah, I reshuffle a little bit of order. So, my main part where I'm generating uh, the floors is uh, last part of the spleef code. So, I will show it mainly here. Um, we have new uh, variable called size so I've set size to pick random between uh, 0 to 10 and um, so the size will be every time different when uh, there'll be generated new floor uh, the next thing which I've add here is the use of the size variable and I will move the builder forward by the number generated in and the size so it's here and uh, this makes the floors different size a different length and then uh, to keep it going in correct way so the code will actually um, generate correct arena I need to duplicate this block to with the movement of agent uh, twice so add one more here completely the same copy after I build or the fill the floor um, so I need to move him back into the original position so that's the reason why is this code here and one more thing uh, which I've added into it it's this builder face and this command um, basically orient or uh, rotates the builder in the correct direction or direction which I uh, like to so in this case I move him to east and at the beginning I uh, turn him to west, so he will build on opposite side. Um, and I think this is it, what I have added into it. And the result is my arena. And this is our final build. As you can see, we have every floor in different size. Do you like these improvements? I think there is plenty of other ways what you can make fun for your friends in the game. Do you have different ideas where to apply variables? Answer or comment below this video and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this channel. It makes everyone happy. And guys, if you have something what you would like to learn, let me know. I can make another video about that. See you next time. All right, all right, all right. I owe you the explanation how on earth I made the wall 
in every single floor, from top to bottom. Here is the solution. I use another variable called height, and I set the variable with a short math uh, block, and I multiply number of floors by five, because five is the height of each floor. So I've got five blocks of air between each layer of floor. So that's the reason why I have this expression here. And this is it. I use the height in the uh, height of the wall. I hope you understand that and enjoy it. I will see you next time.